Good evening, Problematic. I'm here again, Mom Cat, for our lesson number two. By the lesson number two, into three parts, we have here the part one, solves routine and unroutine problems involving addition of fractions. So when we say routine, it is not uh, uh, difficult to write the number sentence. But when we say non-routine, it is more complex. So it can be solved in different ways. Pag sinabi natin non-routine. Okay, but ibang paraan, pero nakukuha natin yung sagot. But when we say routine, it is only a direct, uh, one direction answer. I think uh, you can write easily the number sentence. Okay, let's start with our but before we start answering a word problem, what are the word clues for addition? So, we have here all together. So, when kapag nakakita tayo ng word na all together in a word problem, that means addition, add, in all, combine, plus, total, both. And we also include some. So these are the word clues for addition. So dapat alam ng mga students yan. So hindi tatanong, ma, manusaan kong uh, operation. So pag nakita niyo yung mga word na yan, doon sa what is asked. Kung saan na andon yung what is asked. At nakita niyo itong mga words na to. That means addition. If you can still remember, what are the steps in solving word problem? What do you think are the steps? So let us recall. The steps are step one, understand. So how to understand a word problem? Ano ba maintindihan? Siyempre, you should know what you are solving. Ano bang kukunin sa problem? Ano bang problema? So, that is what is asked. At the same time, you know what are the given? What are the given facts? So, that is step one, understand. Step two is plan. So, when you know the, the question, when you know the problem and you know the given, you plan a solution. How to plan? Look for the operation to be used. What should be used? What operation should be used? So, paano malalaman yung operation? Balik tayo sa word clue natin kanina. So, kapag nakakita kayo ng mga word clues, nakatulad ng itinuro ko kanina, that is addition. B, write the number sentence. When you know, when you already know the given, and you already know the operation to be used, then you can write the number sentence. Then we have here solve and then check your answer. Let us try to apply. Tina spends two eighths hour washing the dishes and five over 22 hour cleaning the kitchen. How many hours does she spend Doing all the doing all the chores in the kitchen. So this is our problem. Now let us apply the steps in problem solving. Step one: understand what is asked in the problem. Looking back in our problem, what is asked in our problem? the number of hours she spent in doing all the chores in the kitchen. So as you can see, this is our problem. The number of hours she spent in doing all the chores in the kitchen. Letter B, what are the given facts? The given facts are to eight hours washing the dishes, and 5 over 22 hour cleaning the kitchen. So we have step 1. 
Next, step two. Plan. Since we have the given, now we should know what operation should be used. So, for answering this, we should look for a word clue. What is our word clue? That is all. So, when we say all, that means addition. And let us write the number sentence. Using our given facts, we have to 8 hour and 5 over 22 hour. And our operation is addition. So we have 2 eights plus 5 over 2 equals N. That is step number 2. Next, step number 3 is solve. So let us solve our problem. That is addition of the similar fractions. So we should look for the LCM of the denominator. That is 8 and 22. So let us write the multiples of 8. And let us write the multiples of 22. What is common? We have 88. Therefore, the LCM of 8 and 22 is 88. Also, the LCD of 2 eighths and 5 over 22 is 88. Now, let us use the LCD. Now, let's get the numerator. So, we have here 88 divided by 8 equals 11 times 2 equals 22. We have 88 divided by 22 is 4 times 5 is 20. So now, they are similar fractions. Let us add 22 plus 20 is 42. Copy the denominator. So we have 42 over 88. Express the answer in lowest term. They are both divisible by 2. The answer is 21 over 44 hours. Therefore, Tina spent 21 over 44 hours in doing all the kitchen chores. Okay? So that is problem number one. Next, problem number two. Ray consumed two and three parts liters of white paint and one and two thirds liters of red paint to repaint the pens. How much paint did he use all together? Again, Ray consumed two and three parts liters of white paint and one and two thirds liters of red paint to repaint the fence. How much paint did he use all together? Now, step one is understand. Know what is asked in our problem. So what is asked is the total amount of paint he used. And what are the given? We have two and two thirds liters of white paint one and two thirds liters of red paint. Step two, plan. What operation should be used? So let us find the word blue here. The word blue is all together. That means addition. Since we already know the operation, let us write the number sentence. We have the given two and three fourths and one and two thirds. Addition is our operation, so we have 2 and 3 fourths plus 1 and 2 thirds equals N. Then step 3 is to solve the problem. We have 2 and 3 fourths plus 1 and 2 thirds. So we have here mixed number. But still, they are the similar fraction, so we need to get first the LCD or the LCM of the denominators. So we have 4 and 3. The multiples of 4 and we have the multiples of 3. What is common between them is 12. Therefore, the LCM of 4 and 3 is 12. Also, the LCD of 2 and 3 parts and 1 and 2 thirds is 12. 
Let us use the LCD. Now the problem is our numerator. So how to get the numerator? We have 12 divided by 4 is 3 times 3 is 9. We have 12 divided by 3 is 4 times 2 is 8. Now let us add plus 8 is 17. The whole number is 2 plus 1 equals 3. So we have 3 and 17 over 12. Now, we have here an improper fraction. So how many 12s do we have in 17? So we have 1. So 3 plus 1 is 4. Remainder 5. So we have 4 and 5 12 liters. Therefore, Ray used... 4 and 5 over 12 liters of pain. Okay? So now, let us recap what we had. What are the steps in problem solving? Step 1, understand. Understand is knowing what is asked and what are the given. Step two is plan. What, know what operation should be used and write the number sentence. Step three is solve or solve the problem. And step four is check or look back with your solution. So these are the steps in solving a word problem. Now, it's your turn to answer the problem. Mangusto milk his carabao. He got three and one half liters of milk from one carabao and four and one fifth liters from the other. How much milk did he get in all? So you should try this. Try to answer this problem and if you know the answer, you can comment your answer in the comment box. Okay, that's it for today. If you like this video, click the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye.